What do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Casino Channel 309. Today's video, I'm going to give you 10 valuable tips that you should implement from the day you start playing roulette or any casino games because it's very essential for you to secure those profits. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I've got the, the file right here. So we've got with the 10 golden rules. So rule number one is you have to understand the odds. Know the odds and probabilities of each bet on the roulette table. This awareness can help you make informed decisions during the game play. So what this means, okay? So before you start playing, make sure that you know how much each uh, bet will play. So every roulette will have an information. So you come over here and you can see how much each bet is going to play. So for example, if you play, play on a play number, you're going to get 35 times your number okay your bets okay so 35 x's and if you play split it's going to be 17 and so on okay so make sure that you're fully aware how much each bet plays so usually everything else is the same apart from the straights okay so the straight so if you're playing with multipliers the straight is not going to be 35 sometimes it's 30 sometimes it's 24 19 it depends so make sure that you check before you play okay make sure that you know how much you're going to get once you place that bet okay rule number two is choose european roulettes opt for european roulettes over american roulettes when possible european roulettes has a single zero offering better odds than the american version with both single and double zeros so yes stay away from the american roulette because the American roulette, you will have the zero right here and you will have the double zero. So that means you will have more chances to be losing money. Okay, because right now with the single zero, the casino is is have a, has an edge over you of two point something percent. But if you have zero and double zero, you know, that that edge is going to increase. Okay, so that means the chances for you to lose your money it's going to be bigger okay let's go over to the rule number three so manage your bankroll as you might notice on my videos i always have a bankroll okay so always make sure you have a bankroll and always make sure that you have a take profits and limits okay we're going to talk more about limits in a minute but make sure you manage your bankroll set a budget for your roulette sessions and stick to it avoid chasing losses and ensure you only gamble with money you can afford to lose okay very important statement so let's say right now you have one thousand dollars in your bank okay and you know you are in the beginning of the month and you still have to you your next payday is going to be next month okay so with that one thousand dollars in your bank if you will need that money to go for the groceries, to pay for your rents, pay for your bills, etc., you should never use those one thousand dollars to come to the casino and play, and hope that you're going to multiply that money and be able to pay your stuff. Okay, no. So only use, only play with money that you're comfortable to lose that money. So if something goes wrong, let's say you place a, a few bets and you lose everything make sure that you're comfortable with that and that's not going to affect your day-to-day uh, -day life where you have bills to pay and etc okay make sure that you only play with um spare money i shall say let's go over to the rule number five so play outside bets so this one is good for the beginner okay so if you are a beginner <clears throat> not very familiar with the roulette and how how everything works okay betting on even or odds reds and blacks or high and lows provides higher chances of winning though the payouts are lower of course these bets are generally more conservative and can help sustain your bankroll so what this means is instead of coming and placing uh, planes splits and squares and so on okay you will be better off as a beginner to play at 1 to 18 even evens uh colors 
odds or 19 to 36 or even the dozens and uh, columns okay so this is more like a beginner's approach because if you're not too familiar with the roulette how everything works yes go with this because the chances of winning are almost 50 percent it's not 50 percent because we got the zero okay so reds and blacks you know is like 50 50 but because the casino has the zero it has the edge of two point something over you okay so that's why i said it's not 50 percent but um yeah the chances of winning are almost 50 50 okay so to start with you can start with outside bets and then as you go along <clears throat> as you go along you can combine bets and strategies to improve your chances of winning obviously playing roulette it's um, a lucky game but also if you are strategic strategic you can make profitable moves okay profitable games <clears throat> next one up is combine bets strategically okay experiment with combinations of inside and outside bets to create a strategy that suits your risk tolerance and objectives okay like i said to you so you can combine for example uh, the strategy that I've showed you. Um, so you place 30 here, 30 here, oh, that's 40 there, and 10 here, 10 here. So in this case, I'm placing outside bets and combining those outside bets with inside bets right here. Okay, and then chances of me to winning this one. So I'm covering 31 numbers and I'm only leaving uh five numbers off so 12 9 4 1 and 0 so let's see how it goes and unfortunately number one came out one of those numbers that i don't have uh came out so i just lost that money okay but yeah keep that in mind um the more numbers you cover the less is going to be the payout the less numbers you cover the more is going to the higher is going to be the payout simple as that um this one right here, avoid the martingale system. So if you're not familiar with the martingale system, is when, so for example, in this case, we just lost that bet, okay? So the martingale is double up, okay? You double up and spin until you recoup your losses. Essentially, you just double up your bets, okay? So we won, okay? So essentially, in this case, I would continue the bets with um, this money right here. 20 and keep doubling up until i recoup my losses okay so with this kind of strategy i'm only leaving five numbers out so the chances of losing are very very minimal and the chances of winning are very high but at the same time so look at this i am betting 320 and i am making 360 okay so let's see how it goes this is the third spin okay so i'm betting 320 and i'm winning 360 so i'm risking a lot and i'm earning just a little okay but in the other hand i have almost every single number covered like i said i only got one two three four five numbers out okay so the chances of those not five numbers out coming out are very minimal okay so therefore you know you risk a lot but you you'll make constant constant gains okay so avoid martingale if you're not familiar with it while popular the martingale betting system involves doubling your bet after each loss this can lead to significant losses if the losing streak continues so use it cautiously or avoid it altogether okay so i only advise you to use the martingale if you have a strategy in place like this one right here so this kind of strategy so for example we start with five thousand so i lost the first bet so we spun we spin two two times okay those two times we made 80 bucks so we recoup our losses and we can see right here we are 40 bucks up so what we can do from here is reset the bets and go back to the original bet which is 80 okay and then from there you go on and continue the cycle okay essentially that's just how it goes right so don't just do it martingale over and over again non-stop without a strategy in place so make sure that you have a strategy before you use the martingale system um, stay calm and collected okay so when you play any type of game uh, when the money is involved obviously emotions will be involved and controlling your emotions is 
crucial. Avoid making impulsive decisions or chasing losses due to frustration. Stick to your strategy and remain level-headed. Okay, what that means. So sometimes you're going to have a very, very tough losing streak. So if you watch one of my um, uh, pre one of my last uh, live videos where I uh, played this strategy actually, and I had a losing streak of um, I think it was eleven numbers or something like that. And uh, yeah, throughout that video, I remained calm and uh, stick to my strategy. Okay, so I, well, I actually had to readjust the strategy. So I maintained the same strategy, but I had to reverse the strategy in order to recoup my losses. But uh, it's very important to maintain calm. And, uh, you know, if you lose your budget, okay, that's fine. As long as you are comfortable to lose that money, nothing's going to happen, okay? It, it sucks to lose, to lose, but uh, if you control your emotions and you're not losing outside your comfort zone, you will be fine, okay? So always try to maintain calm, stay collected, and stick to your strategy. If you feel like you... You're losing your strategy, you, the, you're losing your focus, you're getting too stressed, too emotional, just stop playing altogether, okay? Because it's not going to help you. So, rule number eight, know when to quit. So, before you start any session, set a winning, losing, and time limits, okay? Every time that I post a video, I have a budget. I always tell you what the budget is, what the daily target is, which is usually 10% of my budget. So, for example, if I have 100 bucks budget, my daily profit is $10. Okay. So, once I hit my $10, I stop. Okay. Or, so let's say I have 100 and I'm willing to risk 20 in order to make 10. Okay. I know it doesn't sound right, but sometimes. It depends on your strategy. You have to lose a little bit and be patient because eventually it will build up and you will make your profit. Okay, that's why I'll give I give that margin of losing. Okay, so you're willing to lose 20 to make 10. Okay. Again, again, depending on your strategy. So that's a daily limit of the winning and losing and time. Okay, so don't spend hours and hours non-stop playing the roulette. Okay, so make sure that you have, say yourself, okay, 30 minutes to an hour. And if within an hour I don't reach my losing or winning profits, I will stop. Okay, so make sure you got that. Okay, so um, if you reach your predetermined limits, whether winnings losings or your time is up have the discipline to stop playing okay so a lot of people when playing the roulette they make money yes they do make money but when the greed kicks in they feel like yes i'm winning i'm on a winning streak i'm gonna keep on winning and guess what the streak is going to reverse and you're going to start losing and losing and losing what's going to happen you're going to do the martingale doubling up double up double up double up and literally that you know your bankroll is gone and um, you reach your daily take profits but you got greedy and uh, you lost everything so you lost your take profits and you blew out your account okay so make sure that you have daily targets that's why in every single video that i make um, I have a budget, I have a take profits and losses, okay? And also a time limit. So make sure you do that, discipline. And um, number nine is be wary of hot and cold numbers. Roulette is a game of chance and each spin is independent. Don't fall into the trap of thinking certain numbers are due to come up because of the past results. So yes, um, so usually on the statistics, you have the um, hot numbers and you have the cold numbers, okay? So that means the hot numbers are the numbers that often come out and the cold numbers are the numbers that very often, well, they, they don't come out very often, okay? So this is just a statistic, okay? That doesn't mean it's gonna, the roulette's going to stick to it. And um, even though it's informative and it, it might help you to make uh, decisions in, according to your strategy, uh, isn't, that, that doesn't, doesn't mean that past results are going to be the same for the future results, okay? So keep that in mind. Even though 
checking the statistics before you placing a strategy is good that doesn't mean that is going to happen okay so past results doesn't show doesn't guarantee future results so for example for my strategy right now i'm leaving the zero one four nine and twelve out and if you look at over, over here the statistics say the hot numbers are 12 4 and 0 so the three numbers that i'm not covering are hot okay so they are most likely to come out so for example if i had to start this play again uh, i would not um place my strategy like this because uh, those numbers or three numbers right here they are hot so they, they they have been coming out very often so i would avoid this strategy so if you look at the cold numbers so 9 and 12 are there so if let's say 4 0 9 12 were here in the cold numbers i would be cool to ride with this strategy because they are cold so you know the odds the chances of these numbers coming out are less likely but that doesn't mean they will not come out they eventually will come out okay so just keep that in mind so before you starting your uh, session make sure you check the statistics and check the, the past 50 and 100 numbers and see uh, what what's what and so you can have an idea how uh, the last 100 spins were like and lastly we have enjoy the game three roulette as a form of entertainment rather than a guarantee way to make money the element of chance is inherent so play responsibly and enjoy the experience like i said to you if you play with more money that you can't afford to lose you're going to be stressed you're going to be anxious and you're going to be like damn if i lose this thing i'm going to lose it all right so if you're going to feel that way don't use that money sometimes i see plays going with um, 2000 3000 bankroll but like damn that's not really realistic because um you know the average joe is not going to use 2000 books to play on a roulette right so the average joe will go with probably 500 bucks and uh, try to make some bucks extra right not with 2000 bucks at least that's the way i see it but uh, you know everybody is different so try to have fun go with a budget where you are comfortable with you know start with a small budget 50 to 100 bucks and uh, play a few strategies see how it goes and then uh, if once you're comfortable with that you know go ahead and increase but yeah those are the 10 golden rules that i believe that you should apply in every session okay make sure you have the discipline to stick to these uh, rules and you will be fine and you'll have a profitable um session okay every time you play and uh by the way guys this channel it's about uh, roulette strategy so you can find videos about roulette strategies for different budgets and uh, you can always downgrade or upgrade the budgets okay so for example if you see a strategy with 1000 bucks and you only have 100 all you got to do is downgrade it. instead of placing one dollar bets you will play 10 cents bets okay simple as that and you can upgrade as well so if you have a bankroll of uh, 10,000 and my strategy is 1000 instead of playing with one dollar you play with ten dollars simple as that okay guys there is always that option and uh, yeah that being said guys i'm gonna wrap this video up hope you find this video helpful if there is any other rule that uh you believe that i should mention over here let me know in the comment box below and uh, i will gladly make an update video about the 11 12 or whatever golden rules i will have to implement extra add extra to these 10 golden rules that being said guys hope you guys enjoyed the video Stay tuned in for the next one. Peace.